Hi, I'm Dr. Charles Cobbs. Welcome back to BrainCancer.org series of lectures on Brain Tumors 101. So we talked about why radiation kills tumor cells and how cells that are not tumor cells can compensate if the radiation is given in fractions over a period of time. Um, and we talked about the dosing that's given. Um, there are some there is some wiggle room in these dosing uh, schemes and we know for instance that we can give radiation to uh, sometimes elder, elderly patients have less reserve so that their normal brain is not able to tolerate that total dose so we sometimes will give them a three week fractionated radiation course that has uh, the same amount of radiation but, but over a shorter period of time to try to, to make it uh, less difficult for those patients. So let's go back to the, uh, the analogy or the picture. Let's say this is um, a person who has a glioblastoma, for instance, it's in the frontal lobe here, and the tumor measures uh, two centimeters. Patients often say, well, should I have a gamma knife treatment for my glioblastoma? And we're gonna get into gamma knife and cyber knife in a minute, but uh, as I mentioned, the tumors, the, the glioblastoma, for instance, and most gliomas, uh, even if the MRI scan shows the tumor is confined to this area, we know that there are, unfortunately, cells that will be found invading the normal tissues around that. So the typical kind of radiation that's given for these, pre these kind of tumors is called external beam radiation, and it's simply a concept where you shine a beam of light, which is radiation, and here we're talking about x-rays. We shine x-rays in this angle, this angle, and another angle, so that if you're looking at the image on an MRI, and let's say this is the, the nose of the patient here, and the tumor is here, by shining x-rays in, in this direction, you may uh, get everything within that area plus a two centimeter perimeter to get these circulating tumor cells and then another beam may be shined in this direction and so it may get this area plus another two centimeters around and in this way external beam radiation creates a radiation field that treats the tumor and, and a two centimeter area around it but doesn't affect the other parts of the brain. Now some patients who have for instance metastatic brain tumors where they show up and on the MRI scan for instance, in lung cancer, sometimes we have a patient come in with tumors that are growing all over the brain from a metastatic tumor. And often those patients have little option but to get whole brain radiation, which is basically shining a beam of radiation light that exposes the whole brain to radiation. Um, and this is almost a palliative or last resort type of thing for these patients because in this case, it's usually a very bad prognosis. And if they do survive from the brain metastases, the effect of whole brain radiation can be quite damaging. A year or two later, the patient may have uh, serious mental, uh, um, uh, mental status changes due to the brain injury. Um, in terms of the dosing of radiation we've talked about, uh, for glioblastoma, it's given in five fractions, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So five fractions a week for six weeks. Um, and then in some elderly patients, we may just give it for three weeks. There are other ways to give radiation uh, and cyber knife, which is another type of um, radiation treatment device can give up to five fractions uh, of stereotactic radiation. So 
These are the types of uh, radiation treatments that most patients with brain tumors will be dealing with. And uh, in the next lectures, we're going to talk about stereotactic radiation treatment, which is more applicable to someone who comes in with one focused area, for instance, or a complicated shaped tumor that is uh, not the kind like a glioblastoma that extends into the adjacent tissues, but one where you would like to get a, a very tight, very high initial dose just to these cells, but none of the adjacent normal brain. And that's CyberKnife and Gamma Knife, and we'll talk about how those are done later. Thank you.